we'll we'll see what happens. Welcome guys. I am not going to stream very long tonight. Just uh, messing around in the lab. I got a couple of chores to take care of and I thought, well, some of you have asked for behind the scenes videos and live streams in the past. So actually just this week. So I have to do a little bit of B-roll for a couple of things and I'm just going to do it. And I figured, well, why not live stream at the same time? I gotta give it a try and see whether we can do it. Alexa, trigger live show. We'll see. I don't even know whether I'm on the right chat or anything. This will be a mess. I have no idea. I noticed YouTube was having trouble streaming tonight too. Louis Rossman's cast was pretty broke up, but we'll yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna cheers, Armando. Um, I'm just gonna take this back down after a little while, but what I've got is a project that I started with these uh, SATA hard drives. These are out of old laptops, and this is a huge sneak peek for you guys. Uh, obviously, this won't be live on the channel for quite some time. Oh, white balance, though. Come on. What the heck? What do you think? Oof. Just about trashed my camera, too. What do you think the odds of us being able to get a white balance that actually we can just lock in? Come there. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, somewhere right about there, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, is your lab in the basement? Ceiling looks low. Yeah, it is. It's right above my head. It's This is my workshop that uh, I've shown on the channel a few times in the past. There's a duct right above my head that extends down about 14 inches or so. And yeah, it's barely above my head. Uh, it's only 12, <laughs> 12.30. Whatever happened to the new rover you were going to start? Your hand was, yeah, yeah, it was red. Uh, the rover is still in pieces in the other room. One of these days, one of these days. I got way too many projects. Wow, there's more people here than I thought there'd be. Hey, I was finally able to catch the live stream. Well, <laughs> you caught the, like, probably the most boring one. So, some people asked for some behind the scenes, so this is it. This, I'm going to take this camera and we're going to do some B-roll, which I don't have to talk over anything, so I can try and keep up with you guys and I had to re I had to reprint some cases where the hell are they oh, okay they're off to my side for this for these SATA hard drive projects certainly don't need that one basically the the super behind the scenes is these SATA hard drives at old junk laptops are great for USB hard drives with one of these adapters punchline to the video coming up. These adapters are like three bucks and they work fantastic, except Eric printed the wrong case and took all the video and then had to pull these back apart because this case does not fit. So I printed another one. Anyway, I'm going to start to set up the camera. So basically, this is what you guys don't see behind the scenes. Go ahead and we'll set up our white balance. I know we want about 3400K for this bench, so that'll be a minimum amount of work in post. We're going to go to full manual mode. We're going to go to an f-stop of around 11. That way the focus doesn't wander too much, and that'll just make it stupid easy for this video because all I need is some b-roll of me just putting this new case on and that'll be good enough greetings cheers buddy how is it going so yeah like I mentioned this one got assembled in this absolute junk let's just set that up it's gonna be yeah let's just start start the video I, I don't need audio on here I have the camera I'll sync just in case I ever want to sync it to the live stream tasty tidbit if you snap three times you have a much better sync point for any of your audio I think I threw the screws back in the bottom here oh yeah <laughs> this is tricky now I've got to manipulate two cameras is the autofocus tracking 
close enough. On an f-stop of f11, you get a lot in focus, but we're going to get some grain. But I have a lot of light on this bench, as you guys can see. So grain usually isn't a huge problem in my videos. Again, I don't make the best, highest quality of videos compared to some, so this will be good enough. Okay, four screws. This is the new case, right? Yes, that's the old case, the one I busted up. Get it on camera. Good enough for B-roll. Go ahead and set that in. Cross our fingers that that's actually going to fit the new adapter. I actually don't know whether that will or not. Oh, I should have tried this before, but who cares? I should have tried it before I printed two of them. But PLA is cheap. And actually, I didn't pay for that PLA. We'll make sure we're on camera. We are. Are you guys seeing both? Yeah, you are. That's a weird angle. I can't catch up with the chat right now. I need a better monitor that's closer to my face so I can uh, see the chat easier. This is really freaky watching two cameras. But, yeah, well, you guys are going to see video long before it goes live. Actually, let's, let's commit. We'll put all four screws in. So this B-roll will take up, like, I don't know, a lot of megs. And I'll end up using maybe three to four seconds of it. Maybe ten at the most. Actually, that's got some, some cookies. That corner went a little chewy on the printer. Oh, well, the old i3 Mega printer works pretty good. It's actually the best printer I think I've ever used. Great for projects like this, like superstar for projects like this. And, yeah, that didn't get enough of the crap out of there. And this is why my B-roll ends up taking up half my hard drives. And I don't want to stop the video, because every time I stop and start the video, it's another editing point that I have to remember three months from now when I finally get around to finishing this video. This video, I think, has been actually ongoing for three months already. Got a little crud under there, but that'll do. We're still on camera. Still in focus, I hope. Doesn't matter. Good enough for B-roll. Go ahead and commit. Put the cover on. This is just from Thingiverse. This will be linked in the video. And you just snap it in the back side like so. And in theory, without any post processing, it should just snap right into the front side. Man, oh man, what a great use for old junk hard drives. Now, does this fit? The other one did not. It does. Holy crow. It fits. Barely, this cutout could have been bigger, but it fits. So now we have a USB SATA hard drive, 120 gig with my cruddy little label, which I'll reprint, but we'll put that on there. It's only a 120 gig drive, but it cost me nothing. Recycled junk. Now I can put this, use this for cold storage of old videos, like some of my really old crud that I'll never really need the B-roll from or anything. Just uh, put it away, and it'll always be there. Wonderful. Okay, we got that. That is good enough. That is good enough for that. Okay, catch up with you guys real quick. Just got my new camera in today. Nice, Jeremy. What kind of camera did you get? What kind of camera did you get? I'm still rocking the 70D here, which is actually working really good for me. It's overkill, for truthfully, for what I do, but it does the job. What camera is that? I need to find a better video camera. Oh, the DSLR Electronics Workshop. Sorry, that is the Canon 70D. Uh, rocking that since Casey Neistat kind of made it a little bit famous a few years ago. It works wonderful. It is a great DSLR. Uh, it's just plenty overkill for YouTube videos, to be honest. Um, but the price is actually pretty reasonable nowadays. They're not too bad at all. And they do the trick quite well. 
especially like that's just the kit lens I'm using there. Normally I have a uh, two times multiplier on the end of it for those macro shots you see in my mailbags. That's why they're always so tight and close. I found that it's a lot nicer oh, to use a really close shot on those mailbag videos. Kind of gives it a little bit better look than some of the others out there in my opinion. But it is just the kit lens. And this overhead I'm using is the C920 webcam which is not ideal for streaming things like this but it does work not bad now that we locked it. I had the auto the white balance on auto because when I swing it around to the back side to show you guys when we were doing the reflow ovens and stuff the uh, the lighting behind me is a different color temperature than the 3400 or so here on the bench so it uh, when I lock it in it goes right crazy when I swing it around behind me so it, it was doing okay on auto for a while, but now it's not. Now it's absolute crap. I think I got it pretty close. The exposure is kind of up and down. There we go. I'm not going to bother doing any B-roll on this one. I just want it done to do the final B-roll of this project. And also I want to put these drives into service, to be honest. And with any luck, this... Look how smooth that turned out. That's the top surface on the i3 Mega. It's crazy. The bottom surface is uh, is actually worse. I had uh, I must have left some contaminants on the print bed. I, I should really clean that. That's the actual top surface. The i3 Mega just what a great printer. It 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 just amazes me every time. And this is the against the bedside here too. It's a little a little chewy. Could be a little better but the tolerance for these parts like that was printed without support i know you can hardly see that but that little nub to go in and lock in no support it's just jutted out the side no trimming no nothing and it just fit perfectly wonderful what a, just can't say enough about that printer i don't even have a full review of it on the channel yet to be honest never did finish it all right, look at that. That fits. Three dollar adapter, some crappy old laptop SATA drives. I don't even know what size this one is. I just threw it in the garbage. I think before I stole 500 gigs, so half terabyte. Price was right. It was free. Done. Now I've got what I need to finish that video. That'll be fun. I think most of the people who watch this channel know enough not to throw that kind of stuff out. May recycle it, but I often don't think that a laptop drive can be easily turned into a USB. Alright, one last quick job. I want to fix my microscope up. Our last live stream, the microscope looked like hell. I think we can do better. If I'm still streaming. Oh, I forgot to change my streaming settings, too, before we started. Crap. I should have done that, too. Mm, oh, well. Whatever. Uh, we'll go to the wide. Somewhere over here. I should be able to power up this guy. This is my HDMI microscope with a camera that won't stay locked on it. I think it's alive. Yes. Yes. So, I think we should be able to make this better. Alright, let's try circuit board. So, this is pretty much what we had before. I don't think that's the best for you guys. I think if we take the brightness of the LEDs down but I need it so uh, so I can can you guys nope. uh, let's try this all right let's go back to the camera I need it so I can see to work effectively and I think I can put up with a little bit less brightness there that 
like through the lenses it's it's quite easy for me to see but it's the camera that has the trouble so that's yeah that's pretty washed out i think we can do better so let's go um image effect well brightness ah oh, there it is sweet and we get that down yes 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 i think the contrast is probably i think it's probably what is definition? Let's focus on my hand. Focus. That should be pretty close to focused. What does definition do? Same way, no? I don't see much of a difference. No idea. Color gain, we don't want to change. We don't want to change any of that. I think. That should be save and exit. Let's look at a circuit board now. You guys tell me in a moment how we end up doing. So me looking through the eyepieces, that is way brighter than what you see. If we zoom right in, let's go right in on the top of the IC. And see how I know I got the focus okay how's that for you guys is that pretty good coming across on YouTube is that would you guys like to see it brighter or will that do if we're doing live streams I'm not gonna move it around a whole lot real fast or it's gonna cheers AP tech like I don't I see it in a lot more definition than that this is the limitation of the the camera so let's go in on the solder joints down below focus is that about the right brightness uh, like on my monitor which is a really cruddy monitor so I'm wondering whether that's still going to be a little overblown. I know this monitor is dim, and when I watch this back on my new widescreen upstairs on the previous live stream, it was it was completely unusable. So there's let's focus. There's the board from Max zoomed out. Electronics Workshop says this looks good. Is it? Could it be darker or brighter? Because I'm still seeing, I'm still seeing the reflection of the LEDs here, which is really too bad. Because I don't get that in person. It's completely softly illuminated. But there must be a little bit of IR comes off of them and gets picked up by this camera. But looks good. All right. Well, if you guys say that looks good, I'm gonna say we're good. The last one was it was so blown out it was unwatchable. So. I want this to be very viewable. It's never going to be Lewis Rossman style or anything, but if I'm streaming this stuff, I want it to be somewhat close. Let's try it on a different board, something with a different color, and see whether that makes a difference. Oh, it does. Like that looks like hell on my screen, but looks just fine through the microscope itself. It's maybe a little bright. Well, <laughs> and on my monitor it looks dim. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. But that's actually, this is just fine for me to work under at this brightness. That's my X-Acto knife. I think I can work with that. What happens if I turn the brightness of the LEDs back up a bit? not down up the auto ISO of the camera takes over well wow, that there's moments of like pure awesomeness there that that's just right for me and my eyes on this board this is a very reflective board well if that'll work I think we're gonna we're gonna lock it in at that then 
What happens if we change the, the auto ISO stuff? Oh, not that. We want. What happens if we lock it in at nine? Does it change? If I go full brightness, like that's awesome for me to see right now. But the reflection looks pretty brutal for you guys. Oof, and then it's really dark. Mm. Yeah, I think auto works better. I think I'll just leave it with auto. Uh, do you have a contrast adjustment? Yeah, there is a contrast adjustment. We could try it. Do you think it needs more? Uh, where is that? It's under image effect. Contrast. There is increasing. Where were we? We started about 65. I don't know whether that looks better or not. It's so tough for me to tell looking at this screen. I will honestly. I'm just going to leave it there for a second. You guys tell me that's cranked significantly higher in contact, contrast. Does that look better on your end? Uh, let me take my hands off it. Move away where I can actually see the chat because I'm going to. I saw John's here. It looks great. What system reason transfer the microscope image to YouTube? I'm using just a cheap USB to HDMI capture card from Amazon right into this really crappy PC. And if I move around too much or do anything, it's going to break up because it has bitrate issues. It is a really old PC. It's not, it's not very good. Someday I'll upgrade, but... You think that's better? Okay. Well, if you say that's better, we're going to leave the contrast up higher. Uh, go down and contrast. Help reduce the glare. Now I'm getting conflicting. Got one that says it's better. This is a very much, there's a lot of glare on this board. So here, let's go back to this. And then we can, there's no contrast or no glare to speak of here. The glare is, I think, a problem with, with our brightness, with our LEDs. And well, I think, let's see how that looks. I wouldn't say that's too contrasty, would you guys? I'd say that's probably okay. Maybe that little bump, we'll just leave it be. Cause, like again, there's the function of the brightness, which we could probably, what happens if we lower that even further? I'd love to get this just That on my monitor looks like a loss of detail in the shadows. If I go way up, 70, too bright. I found, I think, 59-ish looks pretty good. That's really high contrast, high sharpness. I don't didn't see any different in that definition. Board looks great. Cheers. This is uh, just a... This is just a cheap kit board. I didn't have any part of this. This is just one that I got laying around. Color grain. What else have we got here? Vertical mirror, black and white, blah, 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 color bar. So just that definition one. Maybe we can see a difference now. Well, it does look like that might crank. What happens if we lower the sharpness down just a smidge and put that definition up halfway to as high as it goes? Call this. Let's see what this looks like. When we go back to that other crazy contrasty board. Let's see. Okay, to my oh yes. God, that looks so much better when I'm looking at it. Oh, I got such a better view than you guys. This is so hard to capture on a camera. This microscope is just awesome. All right, well, that looks good. Let's try it on the ugly contrasty board that we had trouble with. There's from a distance. Yeah, a lot of reflection. 
do I get that? No, I don't get that through the lens. Like the reflection is there, but it's not overpowering. It's just uh, an artifact of the camera. It's just, is that livable or not? Or is that too bright? Yeah, the glare is brutal. That is, what happens if we take the LED brightness down? then I can't work on it. So maybe what I'm going to have to do is just, this is just going to be a, a fact of life. I'm going to have to dynamically compensate because that, that through my lens is perfect. I can see the crack, like there's a cracked, very clearly cracked solder joint. And one of the ones above it, these are all cracked and, and they get worse as you move up. But, that's a perfect example of a cracked joint from just distressed. It's just lead free solder crap that these pins moved. But that glare though, is the glare as bad on your guys' end? Because on my monitor, that's almost un unwatchable. What happens if we take the brightness down further? Then we just lose the shadows. So what if we bring the brightness back up and take the contrast down? Then we lose the details, but we lose a bit of the glare on my screen. What if I leave the contrast there? Contrast 50. Oh, come on. Return. Save. Is that viewable now? On my monitor, that looks pretty good. And obviously through the microscope, that looks wonderful. I can see all the detail. Is that a little better? You are just a victim of a very glary board. Yeah, but this is going to keep happening. On my screen, this looks right now as I'm talking on that joint, that it has gotten rid of a lot of the glare. Now I've gotten rid of a lot of the contrast too, but can you guys still make use? Is this still viewable? Because otherwise I will... I can't do much other than... There's, there's nothing I can do as a camera settings problem because in my eyes, this is plenty soft enough coming up through... Uh, that is nice. I can see the bad joint. Okay. Well, if you can see that, maybe we would just bump it up just a smidge. Because that's pretty flat. I appreciate your guys' help with this, actually. Because, like I mentioned, oh, yeah, no, 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 don't get out of there. We don't want to mess with the white balance. Um, because, like I mentioned, I'm not... I'm not able to tell. There's just a bit more contrast. How's that? Hey to Brooklyn. Cheers. Again, I'll just watch the replay, but I appreciate it very much that you guys give me this help. So if you want to see some crazy bad solder joints, here you go. Here's like these are... <laughs> These are completely the gap right down through. That's just impact damage. And that was actually done on, by me on purpose. And this one I've even dug out a little bit. But if you guys can see that, like admittedly, it only matters that, that I can see it to repair it through here. But if I'm going to do live streams and share stuff with you guys, I'd like it to be valuable. Damn, that looks a lot better on my screen. I'm going to call that maybe almost usable. What happens when we zoom out? Because this is, like like you mentioned, this, we are the victim of a very shiny board. Okay, let's try a different board. When in doubt, let's go to a different board. It's like good old Arduino Nano with a less, less shiny, shiny board. That looks... Not bad on the monitor, way better through my microscope, but not bad. And if we go right in on the surface mount components, how do we do? 
how's that look guys not bad On my monitor that's not bad but again maybe it could be brighter but like that's an LED up crazy crazy close not bad I think what's going on there I see I'll probably focus that a little bit better because those are at a little different depth yeah I think I actually could focus the camera just a smidge more further away to match with my ocular focus, but that looks... There's a lot of glare on that board too, and that looks a little better. I don't know. I think it's good enough for some live streams. I <laughs> think it's too long. <laughs> Uh, what scope do you have that seems very good? This is the same scope that Strange Parts reviewed on his YouTube channel uh, out of Shenzhen. I actually ordered it from um, – yeah, it's a friend of his. I forget her name. She started uh, an AliExpress uh, store just to sell these for him. She wasn't selling them out of the country um, because he loved it so much, and I gave it a go because it was like 300 bucks. Uh, US 300 some odd bucks US or something at the time so yeah it's a no namer and comes with camera and everything and I love it it's fantastic but I just was not happy with my previous live streams and even some video capture that it, uh, it didn't look good once I got it to post in post processing I can edit it pretty good but I couldn't even fix it because it was too bright and glary and the detail was lost so that's hence the reason that tonight just do some tuning uh, someone made the oh yeah that's cool rocks you can see the specks of dust oh yeah yeah you can it's we're down to the dust level so let's go to let's go to like obviously you can see my fingers but here's 0201 versus my finger and down to pretty much dust level and in comparison if I can bring it over <laughs> that's the tip of my of my big soldering iron so that's what happens with 0201 versus uh, a normal size small size wedge tip on a soldering iron yeah this this zooms in really really well for stuff like uh, 0805 and whatever it's it's no problem but uh, yeah, this is this looks a lot better I think I think we're good I appreciate the help guys I think I think we can call that kind of dialed in enough to I just want it so I can grab it and repair stuff and quickly stream with you guys like it's obviously easy for me because I can just focus in using my eyes but if the camera is not capturing it then there is no point in firing up the streaming rig at all it'll just be a waste of time yeah that might do okay uh, can you link the scope? Yeah. Um, go back in my mailbags. Um, uh, you're going to have to just go back in my mailbags uh, a few months ago, and there will be one. My mailbags have their own playlist on the main channel, so just go to the main channel. Go to either playlist or just scroll down. The mailbags is like third one down, and scroll over probably – uh, 10 or 15 videos and there will be one and it scope will be in the title of it I'm sure and the link will be in there to the scope and it's just an AliExpress link no uh, no affiliate no nothing go ahead and buy it it's it's not an AM scope it's not Lewis Rossman recommended but it works the price is uh, very reasonable for it and well, on the mailbag, you'll be able to see everything you get. But this is what you get. It is not a very deep – there we go. It is not crazy deep to the stand, but it will do uh, MacBooks and stuff, no problem. There's plenty enough room for that. You've got like 25 centimeters. Well, not 20 – you've got – maybe 20 centimeters to from the center to the post so you can work with most big things it's got a wonderful barlow lens which you pay big money for usually a great led light 
and comes it's true trinocular this is not uh, you don't lose one of your eyes when you put in uh, the camera and it comes with the HDMI camera too you just have to come up with your own capture card but it isn't obviously it isn't the best HDMI camera as you guys are seeing the ones that the AM scopes sell or come with I think are a little bit better but I think we've got that dialed in I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out on the replay I'll, I'll leave this video up for a few hours just so I can check this out tomorrow you guys can let me know in the comments down below what you guys think but I think this will do it's it's it is it's totally good enough to working uh, with yourself to looking through the uh, the ocular system through through your lenses it is w absolutely wonderful i wish you guys could show you that it's like super hd and it's stereoscopic it's it's full 3d because we don't lose because it's trinocular you don't lose one eye for the camera so it, yeah I, I highly recommend anybody buy one it, it works fantastic so yeah Okay, I'm going to call it quits at that, guys. I appreciate all the help. It was fun. Hang out. Chill out with you guys. Let me know if you guys like it. Click a thumbs up if you guys enjoy these random videos. It's just working in the lab. And uh, I will see you guys in a few days. Uh, new video out Friday. I don't know whether it will be one midweek or not, but uh, lots of new videos coming your way. Cheers, guys.